My brothers and sisters in Christ, today is Pentecost Sunday. Today we conclude the Easter season. Yet the gospel of the day happens on the day of Easter, the day of the resurrection. The disciples are trapped behind closed doors in a state of fear. And Jesus, the risen Lord, passes through those doors and wishes them peace, not once, but twice. And he breathes on them and says, receive the Holy Spirit. And he gives them the power to bind and loose sins, that is, to forgive sins. What is this gospel really about? Well, just as in the octave of Easter, we, with Divine Mercy Sunday, we spoke of God's infinite mercy, God gives to his church a power to reconcile sinners to the Father. This is why Jesus came in the end, to reconcile us to the Father and to give us new life. The Spirit is the Lord and giver of life. It was the Spirit who hovered over the waters at the dawn of creation. God breathed the breath of life into Adam. The prophets prophesied in the Spirit, and they prophesied, for example, Ezekiel prophesied to the dead bones, and they came back to life in the Spirit. What are we to make all of this? Well, Jesus breathes the Spirit into His church. He gives new life to His apostles and to all of us. This is the Pentecost event in St. John's Gospel. God wants to give us life and wants us to share in His life. And He gives us the gift of the Spirit, who rightly is called the soul of our souls. Throughout the Easter season, new children have been born again in the Spirit, born to new life, been made a new creation and temples of the Holy Spirit through baptism. I've been going round and round the diocese to the different parishes, confirming young people, strengthening them, sealing them with the gift of the Holy Spirit so that they might live their baptismal promises more fully and defend Christ and His church. Yesterday, I ordained new priests who are given this power to bind and loose sins, but also given a power to confect the Eucharist and give the people of God this gift of life. The gospel concludes with Jesus giving the power to forgive sins, to bind and loose sins to the apostles. This is the scriptural reference to the institution of the sacrament of penance and reconciliation. Jesus has come to reconcile sinners to the Father. If we think back to the book of Genesis, People said, let us make a name for ourselves. And they built the Tower of Babel to be like equals with God. But that tower came crumbling down and all the people were thrown into confusion and they spoke different languages and could not communicate with one another. With Pentecost, we see this great outpouring of the Spirit and the Acts of the Apostles relates that everyone heard what the Apostles were preaching in their own tongue and they understood. They were set on fire with the words of life. Now it is our turn to assume our place. If people were thrown into confusion at Babel, now with Pentecost there is an essential unity amongst all the nations and peoples of the world. God has sent His only Son to bring us together as His one family. And the mission of the church is to go forth and to reconcile more and more people to the Father, to bring them into this one family of God, one family of man, into the one church, so they might have the life of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray for a great outpouring of the Spirit. Veni Sancte Spiritus. Veni Sancte Spiritus.